sun exposure and red light therapy will actually enhance your recovery from exercise and enhance mitochondrial energy production and testosterone production. In fact, one reason why some men have very low testosterone is very low vitamin D levels. There's men that are exercising, you know, they're weightlifting, they're trying to eat right, <clears throat> but they still have low testosterone. And that could be because of overload of toxins. We have a lot of endocrine disruptors, like if we're drinking out of plastic cups all the time, <clears throat> we're being exposed to microplastics. That is a, uh, a potent estrogen mimicking compound. We call it a, xeno, a xenoestrogen that can throw off our testosterone levels. A lot of phthalates in there. Um, you know, a lot of different fragrances or, you know, certain industries like, uh, like people who do welding, maybe at a higher risk for lower testosterone. So if you're exposed to a lot of these kind of uh, chemicals and toxins, we may need to do a deeper detox. But one thing that can really help is just sun exposure in general to drive up vitamin D, to activate the mitochondria. A lot of men notice huge increases, you know, really significant, clinically significant and mood boosting benefits when they're getting the sun exposure that they need on a regular basis and supplementing that on days when they're not able to get good quality sun exposure with red light and infrared uh, therapy, right? So these are certain biophotons that come from red light and infrared, which are really high at sunrise and sunset, but you can also get a device that actually just shoots red light. Like this is something I do almost every day, shoots red light and shoots infrared, which penetrate deep into, red light is more surface level, gets your skin really good for skin regeneration. Infrared gets deeper into the system. That's the one that's going to really get the testosterone going. And for men that are um, <clears throat> really struggling with, with testosterone, maybe they have a very low libido, um, actually doing red light and infrared, like literally on the testicular region will actually increase the lytic cells. There's lytic cells that are the sperm producing cells will increase the mitochondrial activation in those cells. Research has shown to improve testosterone production. So actually like a direct exposure right down there can really dramatically improve testosterone. So that's kind of a, an advanced biohack. But then number seven is getting cold. So getting cold is a hormetic stressor. It's a stressor on the body, but it's a hormetic stressor because it forces our body to adapt and it makes us more resilient. And part of that resiliency is the production of testosterone. So this could be something as simple as a 30 to second, 30 to 60 seconds at the end of your shower, you turn it cold, right? So you get in, it's warm, you do your soaping, all your, all your you know, necessary hygiene while it's warm. And then the last 30 to 60 seconds, you turn it cold and you just kind of get in it and you just kind of pump your arms like this, right? Just kind of flex your muscles and pump and that will pump more blood. It will heat you up a little bit and will create more testosterone production, more nitric oxide release, which will enhance circulation, oxygenation, and again, that testosterone production. So you can do something as simple as that. You can also take it a more advanced step where you do like a cold plunge. And there's a lot of different things out there where you know people are buying cold plunges where they've got like a big, you know, <clears throat> a big container, they fill it up, ice water, jump in that for a few minutes. And that also increases testosterone. People are seeing significant benefits when it comes to recovery from exercise. In fact, a lot of athletes, you know, top athletes, they do this after, you know, a football game or after a basketball game or after an intense training competition um, or training session, they'll actually get into an ice bucket, right? And that helps improve their recovery, stimulates testosterone for advanced tissue remodeling and tissue rebuilding, and really helps, helps give them a performance enhancement. <music>